So let's okay. Let's transition the who's been a breakout this year to the goat. Like the, when we talk about the goat of all of time wrestling. Yeah. So we're talking of <clears throat> all time. So let's start it off with talkers. And we're when we're talking about talkers, Ric Flair. Yeah. Uh, that's what I would say. Does The Rock beat out Ric Flair? No. In talking, not in performance, but in talking. No. Really? I don't think anybody, in my opinion, ain't no better promo than Ric Flair. Okay. That's can I? But I'm gonna make an argument. My opinion. (laughs) I'm Jim Cornette, and that's my opinion. But okay, I'm gonna make an argument to you. Okay. Just because I like debating. Sure. Debating's fun. When it comes. When it comes down to Ric Flair promos. They're all the same. Okay, but... They're all, they're <clears throat> all the same. But they always... They're always, I have a lot of money, I have a lot of women, suck my... But they always serve their purpose, and... They did, they... I'm not, I'm not denying that. I'm not denying that. But it just feels like... Looking back at those Flair promos, they haven't aged very well, because it's just loud noises, money, money, diamonds, women... But when he needed to cut those personalized promos, like on Dusty or the Rock and Roll Express or whoever he needed to cut those promos on when he needed to change it up, he was able yeah. to improvise right there on the fly. Yeah, and I think that's a, that's, that's a talent and a skill that not a lot of professional wrestlers have right now. Exactly. Is, is that the timing. They don't have the proper timing. I mean... He was one of those, I think, I mean, for his generation, like, if we wanted to to go by generations, I don't want to go by generations, but, I mean, in his time, it was either him or Dusty, back there in the 70s, late 70s and 80s. Uh, 919, we are checking the text line. You're just spamming too much, so I kind of ignored it. <laughs> Basically. Um... All right, so what we got Flair is talk. Well, how about we do this? Okay. How about we turn the goat into the Rushmore? We're gonna like make we, a. I ma- feel like we've done this before. I feel like we have as well, but it's always good to revisit it. Sure. So let's talk your Mount Rushmore. Go. Ric Flair. Be careful. Four or yeah. five? Is it four or five? Four. Mount Rushmore four. Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels. Okay. All right. I, I have two more that I wanted to just spit out, but I almost need to think for a second. Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, like, boom. Those are the two greatest we'll, wrestlers we'll of spit, all time. Spit them out. Spit them out. I was going to say Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, Austin Rock. Okay. But then I was like, uh, you might want to put Hogan over Rock. Just because he was one of the... You also want to put... Because <clears throat> Hogan was one of the first guys to help get wrestling to the mainstream outside of just wrestling fans. You know what I mean? That's true. true. But you have to put Austin there because in the most popular era of pro wrestling, he was the most popular guy. He got himself over to everyone. What about, what about Undertaker? Does Undertaker belong on a Mount Rushmore of pro wrestling? No. No. What? If you could only put four, no. I think the under, you know why the Undertaker he would be like to be sixth on it? for me. No, 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 no. I, Undertaker's like my number one to put on that Mount Rushmore strictly because. I know what you're gonna say. Because when it comes to storytelling, there's no one better than him. You you know people love guys like Chris Jericho and people love guys like Kevin Owens because they quote unquote live their character on social media. They act like their character. Undertaker was always his character. You rarely, if ever, saw him out of character. He always kept the dead man persona going, no matter what was happening. Yeah, well, the Shawn he Michaels always... you saw on TV was the Shawn Michaels you got in real life. At least yes. in the late 90s. Yeah, but wasn't that Shawn Michaels kind of like a head? Well, yeah. You got the 517 was... saying, uh, so I'm going to read some of the text lines Mount Rushmore. <laughs> the 517... Hogan, Taker, Flair, Austin. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good Rushmore. Mm, ooh, Cena. I don't think this is real at all, but 
Sean, Cena, Shane, AJ. Mm. Dash, AJ. Uh, Dash says, Bret Hart, Stone Cold, Jericho, Benoit. Can you put Benoit? Fuck I guess yeah, if you're you only can. thinking wrestling, not I mean, personal. What? Why would you think personal? For what, what, did he... ben Wy- what did Ben Wyver do that was bad? He was a great wrestler. What did he do outside of wrestling? <laughs> I, I, what did he do? Did that Chris Benoit guy do anything bad at all? Uh, July 2007. See you all in hell. Toots Monda. No. I don't think Toots Monda deserves to be on there. Who? Steve, Steve Englund. The reason you said Toots Monda is because you saw a What Culture video. That's the truth. Who the hell is no Toots Mondin? He's some f***ing carny f- that helped kayfabe, I think. Just Bro, just an kayfabe? absolute bullshit. Like, like, no, like, you could gloss over that name, and you wouldn't give a s***. But Adam Blompier messaged it, mes- mention- mentioned it once, and so they're all like, Oh, he's the greatest of all time! No, oh, lord. No it's all just bandwagon bullshit. No, because the reason... Hogan Savage the- Austin Warrior. Thinking about it again. One of the reasons you got to put Flair as, like, number one is because who doesn't know about – that? who's never heard of Ric Flair that's exactly. at least, like, 15 years old? Who the hell – like, you don't even have to be a wrestling fan, and you've you've done the woo. Yeah, again, Sergio, Sergio says Ricky. Not as the greatest. He was good, but I can name a dozen wrestlers that should be ahead of Ricky the Dragon. Uh, TVP, they both win because they're fooling everybody and they're going to make a ton of money. <laughs> uh, I'm just reading the chat here and a lot of them are a lot of the same names. So, I mean, it's understandable. There's only a handful of guys that you could really pick. Someone from the 7 3 4 to say to me, Nick, mine would feature John Cena, Undertaker, Ultimate Warrior, and Hulk Hogan. And also, uh,. <laughs> The seven three four, I showed that to Sean because I saw you text that the other day. I showed it to Sean and he thought it was very very funny. <laughs> we appreciate it. Ric Flair is I'm rich. What? Seven nine seven two says woo, 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 woo. Spike somebody yeah, said no, no. thumbs there. I mean, <clears throat> uh, this person seven seven three four here. says Ric Flair, The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold. That's a good one. Another one. Uh, 215 says Rock, Austin, Cena, Flair. Rock, Austin, Cena, Flair. Now, in the chat, this Abel go- Pantoja, I hope I said that right, keeps saying, what about Kenta Kobashi? Kenta Kobashi was really good, but he wasn't really that known outside of Japan. Like, you can't say Kenta Kobashi and just to anybody, and they'd be like, oh, I know, I've heard of him. But you can almost go to anybody that's over the age of... 20 years old and say Ric Flair and they'd be like oh yeah I've heard of that guy yeah everyone's heard of Ric Flair I mean yeah everyone's heard of Ric Flair the wrestling Mount Rushmore I'll give mine and then we'll kind of leave the subject a little bit my wrestling Mount Rushmore would have to be Stone Cold Flair Taker and Rock see I mean when I almost don't want to. I don't think I don't think Hogan goes on there because Hogan was a byproduct of an era of wrestling that was very good. But looking back on it now, the only reason you'd put him on there is because he helped make it mainstream. Nothing about Hulk Hogan. Exactly. Like if there you, was no Hulk Hogan, nothing, there would be no WrestleMania. No, but you could have had any fucking schmuck in that Hogan role. No, Andre would have been a better Hogan than no. Hogan was. No, because Hogan was yes. just great A, great at. PR and media and all the Yes, I understand stuff. that. And you know who else is f***ing John Cena? Those people come and go. They would have found a different Hulk Hogan. It just <laughs> happened to be that Hulk Hogan. Uh, Chris is making up with a $2 super chat donation. says, what about Bruno San Martino? Bruno was great, but he wasn't a great. Like, he was great. He's probably top 10. But, I mean... He always had good matches and whatnot, but I just, I don't know. Something about Bruno is, like, guys like Bruno and Buddy Rogers and even a little bit of Backlund all just felt fable. You know what I mean? I get what you're saying. Like, it all just felt like, man, that's like, I gotta really imagine this 
But could that also be because it was that much before your time? That's exactly why. There's no way. So there, there was this thing that I was watching. It, it was in a Brian Zane. It was wrestling with a Gret video talking about Phantom Championships. And apparently, you could just go to like Puerto Rico and be claimed a champion, and then come back to the states, and that you, they could just say, "Yeah, he bull won the title down there." And that's happened a few times. Like Bruno San Martino, a lot of people don't know he lost his and during his like huge title reign, he lost. <clears throat> but then they nulled and voided. He did a show out in California. And then they nulled and voided. And they said, no, go back to the East Coast with your belt. No, I, I know exactly what you're talking Antonio, about. Antonio Inoki f- beat Bob Backlund, but then the president of Japan gave it up. Yeah. Just, just I mean, that was like, what was it? Tainted ways. Harry Von Eric, One of them. So the carrier Kevin Von Eric beat Ric Flair for the NWA title, and they never mentioned it after the match. Never. God, never. Now, here's Why what, that stuff so weird to me? Now, here's one for you. 217 tweets, or uh, texts in. Hey, Tim and Nick, do women count as goats of pro wrestling? Yeah. I yeah. mean, they can, Roman. but so. what woman would you put up there above guys like Stone Cold, The Rock, Ric Flair, Dusty? Who would you put up there, though? Sable, because she helped get more eyes on yeah. WWE in the late 90s? <clears throat> you know? Lita? Well... What did Lita do to really help grow the business in a way that others weren't? That's what a goat uh, has done. Eight, a one, goat eight, is somebody that has on. helped by being as good as they were. They helped grow the business in a way that others didn't. You know what I mean? That's what I consider a goat in pro wrestling. Yeah, you're great at what you do, but you also connected way farther than anybody else connected with, you know? Because it's like, I know people always say, oh, Trish is the greatest of all China? time. Yeah. China? Kind of. That's why I said Sable, too, because they're kind of on the same wavelength. I don't think... <clears throat> I mean, you could almost say Sunny. No, 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 no. Because no, in, what was it, 1996, Sunny was the most searched female in the world on the internet. I would not put China and and Sable in the same wavelength. For God's sakes, there was a there was a moment in time where China was going to become the WWF champion. No, no, no. I meant as far as their quote Eyes unquote wrestling. No, I, I meant as far as their quote unquote star power and people knowing them outside of wrestling. No, no. Cause, okay, for so for Sable, you mentioned Eyes on Pro Wrestling. China opened up a door to so many women at that time True. where all the women were treated like sex objects and they, you know, they were all just there, you know, the sable shirt spot <clears throat> and, 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 and all of that, you know, China came out there and she won that IC title and she gave a really big voice to these women that didn't have it because when they, when little girls looked at WWF at that time, it was just titties and, and butts and, it's a dumb, stupid, boring, awful, god, god awful. The attitude no, error. I, I get what you're saying. Bad. The attitude error was just so bad. And I, I mean, I would. I mean, if we made a separate Mount Rushmore for women wrestlers, who would you throw on there? I know we said we were going to get away from this, and we will in a second. Trish. Dash. China. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. China. Okay, Lita. I'm, I'm hold on. I'm trying to think of overall. Okay. Trish, so. China. I don't even know if I put China. Trish for sure. Probably sensational Sherry. Trish Sherry. Um. You got one more. You got one more. That's if I keep Lita or China. Yeah, Trish Sherry China. <clears throat> I guess Lita. I like a uh, eight one seven here. It says fabulous Mula May Young, no. sensational Sari Whitney Rickner. If you know what fabulous Mula May Young did to make it in wrestling, no, they ain't nowhere close to goats. WWE just made them out to seem in the late nineties and early two thousands. WWE just made it out to seem like they were great people, but they really weren't. Do you know what fabulous Mula was doing? Back in her day, what what Mae Young was doing to guys back in her day? 
Yeah, we've covered that.